Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey G97 and welcome to the video. Uh, today's episode is going to be using the Mazda 787B at Sardina. Um, the setup I'll be using for this race is actually the same setup I used in my last video um, when I did Sardina at Maz for the Mazda. I believe it was back at update 1.37. Uh, but I'll show you guys where to get the car, the build itself, and everything you basically need to know just in case if you haven't yet known this setup I've built um, back in update 1.37 but without no further ado let's get started with the episode right now so first things first the car is available at the legendary car dealership unfortunately as you can see on the right bottom right of the screen uh, there is a blue arrow pointing up uh, now if you're new to the game what that basically means is the next time this car shows up uh, in the game the price of the car will actually increase, which is quite unfortunate. Um, so I do recommend getting it right now, since it's a little bit cheaper price uh, than it'll be the next time it rotates and shows up again in the game. But that's how you get the car. There's all the stats on the top right of the screen itself. Now here's a much closer look at the car, and you can just see how amazing it looks. Um, very legendary Lamar prototype uh, Group C car. Uh, probably my favorite one out of the rest of the Group C cars uh, in this game is just the way it looks, especially the way it sounds. It has an incredible engine, uh, just the way it sounds, the way it handles. Um, and also, um, unfortunately, I will be missing the Nations Cup uh, this coming weekend. But I do recommend you guys, if you watch this episode, uh, just try out the Mazda 787B. Uh, just practice with it uh, for the Cup race at Le Mans. This car is very quick. Uh, once you get used to the car and the gear ratio, uh, then you'll be in pretty much good uh, stead uh, for that race. Really strong car uh, to drive. But that is going to be it for the car itself. So that's part one of the build complete. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is the livery I'll be using for this particular episode. Now if you guys want to follow me in the game itself, uh, my gamer tag is right beside my driver avatar and it's Jeffrey g 7 yt uh, That's my Grand Tribunal 7 profile. If you want the best way to follow me is if you search Tokyo Expressway East Clockwise photos. Uh, use the word hashtag Tokyo and then you'll use it for my name or get my gamer tag pretty quick. Now here's the livery. It's a legendary livery with a, with a legendary car. It's the Minola Toyota livery. Um, such a shame that this car will not be in the game. I really wish it was in the game, but unfortunately it's not. But thankfully we do have several liveries based off that car, and I'm going to use it for this car itself for this episode. Uh, just making a double legendary duo uh, type of thing. Now if you do not want to use this livery, uh, but you want to use the parts, that's fine. Uh, the only thing is actually for parts is the rims. So the rims for this car is BBS, LM, and you're going to leave it standard. Just as simple as that. Uh, that's the only thing to copy basically for this setup is just the rims. Now to show you guys the setup I'll be using for this race. Uh, so to start off with, uh, for the tire choice I'll be using for this race is going to be be Racing Softs. Um, this is going to be a one pit stop strategy, as I'll show you guys later in the episode of how it will play out. Uh, I really recommend you guys copying the suspension. Now this looks familiar. Uh, there was a really good build using the not Nissan R92CP, and I basically did it off of that car. Um, same thing for the torque and acceleration and braking, uh, the differential. Uh, for downforce, the front is going to be 501. For the rear, it's going to be 1599. Uh, leave the full control computer at 100. You need ballast, just add one to ballast. And then your power restrictor, move it down to 86. And for the very technical part, you need the fully customized manual transmission. And you do actually need to fully adjust it. So here are the numbers that you'll need for your gearbox uh, just to man manually change up your gear ratio for the car. I basically did the best I can to basically copy it from the Nissan R92CP uh, setup. So that's basically is going to be that for the gears. So just make sure you have the fully customized manual transmission. 
Uh, that's the one that actually affects and lowers your performance points. Just not to get confused with the racing one. Um, and last but not least, you need the high RPM turbocharger for the car, and that's going to be it for this setup. Alright, now I'll show you guys the car itself. Uh, straight away, you can tell it's just a ballistic missile through the straights. Uh, the first turn, already up to three spots already. The car actually feels really smooth, actually has good traction, good grip on the rears, uh, which is pretty crucial for this car. As you can see, we're already up to 13th. Uh, right before we get to this breaking point right here. Not to mention, but we have our insights to top 10 train as well. So this is a pretty good start with this car, despite making a little bit of mistake there in that one particular straightaway. And you can see how much closer we're getting, catching up to the main top 10 uh, train, as we'll easily pass the Corvette, the BMW, and the Audi, uh, which will then put us into the top 10 right before we get to this next uh, breaking point after you get top of the hill. I'm going to brake hard. Uh, I, I did miss it around and accidentally go a little bit too deep. Uh, lost a little bit of time, but thankfully we kept some of the place. And right now we have the next group of cars in front of us to chase down. Uh, next up will be the pair of Toyotas, as you see right here, 6th and 5th place. So we'll usually we'll move to the top 5. And then right in front of us is going to be the Aston Martin V12 and the GTR uh, Nismo. So we're going to quickly pass those two cars very easily before we get to this last kink right here. Moving us to P3 right at the end of the first lap. So this is actually a very smooth, quick, solid start for us in this race. Uh, we're going to quickly build up a lot of the momentum. We're going to make a move on the outside on the Mercedes Benz, uh, which we are able to actually make the move. Very nice move on that Mercedes Benz. As we now are getting closer and closer to the Viper. And we'll actually be able to make a move right here before we get to this right hand turn uh, and we'll easily we'll take the lead um, on lap two just barely uh, going through a few turns so you can see lap four is going to be our hot lap you can see we just pull off a huge gap between us and the main field uh, your first break point will be at 150 now i got this really slow down so that way you guys can really see what's going on here uh, with the car itself but i did hit the right right front tires on that little blue curb you're going to really break hard second gear we're actually now let the car flow naturally halfway through the apex and then once you go halfway through the apex back to the throttle and as we get to our next breaking point our next few couple corners you're going to break right when you approach the 50 meter sign so about between 50 100 heavy braking again third then down to second gear and then you can see we're doing a little bit of trail braking here uh, halfway through the apex, we're going to actually go back to the throttle uh, momentarily, and then after a few couple of feet, we're going to let off the throttle, brake again, and I'll get the car uh, basically dialed in in this next corner. Uh, make sure the right tires are close to that curb. Halfway through the turn, as you can see, we're actually playing with the throttle, uh, so make sure the car is straight as you can. Aim for your left wheels on that stone curb, and that'll be it for that turn. Uh, your next breaking point would be once you are at the 50 meter sign, like directly below it, uh, you're going to brake hard again. Second gear, uh, you'll be doing a little bit of trail braking, but mainly you'll be going naturally through the turn. Just let the car and gravity take control at this point. Uh, about over halfway through the apex, you can see we're playing with the throttle again. Uh, went a little bit wide in this particular turn. As you see, we're just touching the grass just barely, but still coming off of pretty much good momentum off the corner. And of course, up the hill, uh, full throttle, we're going to actually stick in fourth gear uh, to our next breaking point will be right as we approach 150, brake hard, uh, we're going to be all the way down to second gear, then the first gear, uh, halfway through the apex, once you pass the stop sign, half throttle, and then we actually may got loose, but we saved it, full throttle through here, as we go down the hill, uh, we should be right at fourth or fifth gear, uh, coming to this next corner, fourth gear, brake, Naturally, you let go through, brake third gear, and then after that tunnel, full throttle. We're gonna stay in third gear, brake once you're beside the 100 meter sign. First gear, you're gonna be heavy braking. Uh, as you see here, just make sure you keep the car at the racing line for best grip. Uh, make sure your right wheels as well touch that stone curb. And then for the very last part of the track itself, uh, we're gonna be at fourth gear, momentarily left the throttle, back to the power again. Get the car straight and that's going to be a hot lap through sardina 
it being a 127.727. So very quick with this car. Uh, so lap 7 is going to be our lap to pit. Now I'm going to adjust my fuel map to 5 before we actually do go inside the pit road. As you can see, all we'll be doing here is going to be adding some fuel. Also changing and get a new set of racing softs uh, for this car. Now, the car felt great overall the whole race. Uh, even with this first pit stop, we actually were able to manage to lap the whole entire field without before we pitted. So the car felt really good, felt very flexible, uh, considering having worn out tires. Um, so this car is really, really good uh, with this whole race. So this is going to be our one and only pit stop. Uh, now we will have to do some fuel saving here, so I'll show you guys the laps of what fuel map to be on uh, So that way you don't lose too much time So when you got the pit road, you actually would want to be in gear number four or fuel map four uh, We're going to fast forward to lap 10 as we're about to approach a lap 11. You're going to move that now to number three Since we were able to, we were able to save a good bit of fuel uh, hand the right track uh, with this strategy and then once that, you're going to fast forward now to lap 12. Right when you begin lap 12, you're going to move it to number 2. And you're going to say that just for a little bit. And then for the last time, uh, right at the end of lap 12, begin lap 13, once you get to the main straight. Uh, if everything plays out right, you should move it back to number 1 once again. And that should be it uh, for the race itself. So as we get this race finished off, you can see we just magically perfectly uh, able to switch to mule, the fuel modes perfect timing uh, as we get a little wide there at the very end but we cross the line is going to be a 22 57 uh, for our total race time so this was a very quick ballistic field uh, right below the 23 minute mark so you can just see we were able to lap everybody else except for the uh, the Supra two laps so that was really good that's probably my personal best doing that um, but yeah, this was a really good build, so I really had a lot of fun with this car. So I recommend you guys going out, buying the car, and just trying it out uh, for yourself. Because this is a really good, strong build uh, to use for this car. And as simple as that, we were able to get the clearance bonus, which is always cool. And that is going to be it for the episode. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope this build uh, will help you out, Art Sardina. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, uh, it would be much appreciated if you liked the video. Also subscribe as well, as I try my best to upload daily uh, to the channel. Um, if you want, guys want to check out my last episode I did uh, yesterday, uh, it's a special 800, 800 subscriber special uh, going to the Alsace one hour endurance race. Um, so hopefully that race itself can help you out as well, uh, just in case if you haven't hit the gold medal. For that one hour endurance race uh, you can click on the video hopefully that race will help you out as well hope you guys have a great rest of the day uh, also a good rest of the week as well and hope you guys take care and i'll see you guys later take care